Now is the winter of our discontent, made glorious summer by the sun of the oak, and all the clouds that lord upon our house, in the deep bosom of the ocean buried. Now are our boughs bound with victorious weeds, our bruised arms hung up for monuments, our stern alarms changed to merry meetings, our dreadful marches to delightful measures. Grim visited walls had smoothed its wrinkled front, and now instead of mountain barded steeds to fight the souls of fearful adversities, he capers nimbly in a lady's chamber to the leash of his pleasing of a lute. But I that am not made for sported tricks, nor made to court an amorous looking glass. I that am rudely stamped in wood loves and majesty, that struck before wanton ambling them. I that am entailed of this fair proportion, cheated of feature by dissembling nature, deformed and finished, sent before my time into this breathing world, scarce half made up, and so lamely and unfashionable the dogs bark at me as I hold by them. Why I, in this piping time of peace, have no delight to pass away this time, unless to spy my shadow in the sun and to scant on my own deformity. And therefore, since I cannot prove a lover to entertain these fair, well-spoken days, I am determined to prove a villain and hate the idle pleasures of these days. Plots have I laid, inductions dangerous, by drunken prophecies, libels and dreams, to set my brother Clarence and the king in deadly hate, the one against the other, and let King Edward be as true, as just, as I am supple, false and treacherous. This day shall Clarence closely be mewed up about a prophecy that says that G of Edward's heirs, the murderer, shall be. Dive thoughts down to my soul, here Clarence comes.